So let's just say that you just uh, started your dead man mode series. You went to Barak, you went to the Barbarian Village, and you just got 10k. You come up and you find that Vrat is waiting out there for you, and they want to kill you. They kill you, and now you're back in Lumbridge. You have no stats, you have no gold, you have nothing to beg. What do you do? How do you rebuild? How do you get back to the top? There are a lot of ways to do this, guys. I'm going to show you guys at least four or five different methods to increase your skills enough so that you can rebuild and come back in the dead man mode seasonal. So we're going to start off right away and uh, go off towards the first locations. So there are plenty of ways to make money in dead man mode. A lot of you guys may think, you know, once you lost your 10k, you're like, man, I, I don't have any other way to get back into this season. I should just quit. Well, there are many ways, actually, that you could get back to the season. One way is to take on one of the big three skills. There are three skills in total, and three skills that will yield you a lot of money. And it's a good idea to go forward towards them. One example is fishing. You can start fishing trip when you go south of the Lumbridge, uh, go south of the Lumbridge Castle. Th there's not a lot of competition, not a lot of people are going to kill you over here. And... Catching trip is a good way to get some good food before you uh, start doing some other advanced things. If you don't have a lot of food, and you're thinking that the reason why you died is because you don't have food or you don't have any survivability, maybe the best thing that you should be doing is catching fish. And of course, after you're done with the fishing, you can also head over to Catherby, or you can get fly, a fly, fly fishing rod, uh, get some feathers, and then uh, head over to the Lumbridge River, and you can just do some fly fishing there. So let's move on to another area that you can trade if you need to rebuild. Okay, so let's say that fishing isn't really your thing. It's not really what you want to do. So, another thing that you can do right when you die is you can go over here and come to this uh, axe shop. Uh, he has a variety of axes. He ha has pickaxes, which you can't actually find a pickaxe on top of the Lumbridge Castle up here, so don't worry about buying one. But you can also get a bronze axe, and you can go around to the various areas in Lumbridge, if you'll see here, and you can chop trees. There's yew trees over here, there's oaks right here, there's willows in the safe zone. There's a lot of good areas that you guys can uh, do some tree cutting. And you can also use fletching, which by the way, if you could see with OS Buddy, there's a knife right back there. You could get a knife, you could get an axe, go around and start chopping trees and fletching them. And then you can sell them to the general store. By the time that you get to Willows, you should have at least uh, 1,000 gold pieces from selling oak, lawn bows unstrung, and uh, normal bows unstrung. If you're wondering how you get some gold for uh, the axes, simply pickpocket a couple people. Uh, women and men, they both drop at least 3 gold pieces per pickpocket, so you only have to pick pickpocket them a couple times and it'll be okay. So that shouldn't be really too much of a problem. Get, get 60 gold pieces, or how much does it cost? Yeah, 16 gold pieces, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna sit here, I'm gonna get Thieving up to 16, come on, one more, there we go. Now I can go over here, where are you, there you are. I can go over here, grab an axe, uh, wield it, and now I can go and uh, start my woodcutting adventure. So... Up here, you guys can find the bronze pickaxe that I mentioned earlier. Another way of making money, which is a really decent way of making money, is doing mining. Uh, mining has a lot of good things that you can make. Obviously, people need armor in the game. People need a lot of things in the game. And one way that you can pr provide those things is by becoming a miner. You can take your pickaxe, and then you can go ahead and go down to the lower area down here, where you can find tin and copper. Train this area by getting, uh, pretty much have some food like I have in my inventory now, and do 20. 10 of coal, I mean 10 copper, 10 tin. Make 10 bars of bronze and keep going until you get about 15 smithing. When you get 15 smithing, then you can move on to iron, and you can start making a lot of things that people want, like iron knives, and a lot of other things. Knives are a really important part of Dead Memo. They have such a high DPS early on that... If you, right off the bat, even if you died with the 10k prize, went immediately to do copper and tin, and then you just went off and, like, got mithril the first day, if you're selling mithril knives by the first day, you're going to make a lot of money because people want those. Those are high DPS items that people, PKers especially, will want those items. So definitely take a look at mining 
and smithing if you die with your 10k or if you just want to do it in general. In my opinion, having a skill in deadman mode is the most important part of the game. If you do not have a skill in deadman mode, you're not going to be able to be a buddy when you die. If you only have combat skills, then all you can do is combat. But if you keep dying in combat, then you won't have anything to sell. You don't have anything marketable. Which is why you want to just come down here. You want to go fishing. You want to go wood cutting, Or even go thieving. There's a plenty of good options here. Right in Lumbridge that you can do to get some skills right off the bat. And get a quick 1,000 gold or something like that. With thieving, for example, I got mine up to 56. It's not a protected skill. But it's such a good skill to have that, really, if you die with a high thieving skill, you really don't have to worry about money. My level is 56, but I can go over to guards and I can thieve them for 30 gold pieces per pickpocket. I can make about 10k in about, say, 15 minutes. So I can have that gold that you just lost at the stronghold within 15 minutes. And you guys can too, you just, just gotta get 40 thieving. Or, you can get a higher fishing level. Uh, I got my fishing level up first day and I sold lobsters for 300 each. I made about 100k today because I sold lobsters for that price. And I'm doing pretty good for myself. Even though I don't have the highest combat stats in the world, I didn't die as much. And that's what's important in dead man mode. Another thing that I would like to talk about is, you know, what you're doing with your deposits. It's never a good idea to just keep cash on hand in your bank. Let me tell you. If you look at your uh, on death screen, you'll notice that usually cash is the first thing that goes. I think cash always is gone when you die. I think anyone gets your cash stack. So it's not really useful to have, you know, for example, 1,200 coins in the bank right now when I have all this other stuff in the bank too. I should find a way to consolidate it so that it's in a much better spot. As you guys can see, I don't really have that much of a worth of bank. From what you're seeing but if we look at my deposit box i have a u-bow i have a maple bow i have a sh short bow i have a bird's nest with which will increase in value i have a vernar i have a staff of fire i have a pickaxe i have some stuff that's going to be really useful for to be in the future and i invest all my coins into better equipment as the season goes goes on that way if i die like say i was training range with my u short bow well, I have my maple short bow to f fall back on, so if I do range, which I do range as well, um, I have stuff to fall back on, and I don't have to worry about dying so much from the little things like, you know, some PKer that's at Catherby while I'm trying to get some lobster or some shark. So, it's really important that you invest your money into items, not cash. Cash is not useful if you die. Cash is like the worst thing that you can have in the bank. Remember that. And you'll do a lot better this Den Man Mode Seasonal. Finally, the last thing I want to say is, don't get too discouraged when you die. In fact, I've died five times already in this Seasonal. But I am, as of last night, I was 46 in the high scores. I was not doing too bad. So don't feel too bad if you die. You will rebuild, and you'll rebuild fairly quickly if you have the skills necessary. I was never worried when I died because as soon as I died, I went back to Catherby, I, I got some lobster, and I sold some for 30k, and I got my stats up. Having stats is one of the most important things of Dead Man Mode Tournament. Yes, you need a high combat skill, otherwise you will get one shot, like, right off the bat. If there's a level 3 at Catherby right now with the levels I have, I will kill them because they can't take a uh, Chaos Rude, uh, a Fire Blast spell. They can't take, uh, what's the, a firebolt. Like, full up, they can't take it. They will die before they get to the bank. And that's important to know. That's why what I do is I keep my hit points above what most people can max it. If someone comes up to me and tries to use a DDS spec on me, I know that I'll at least have a fair shot with lobsters. However, if I was a level 3, I'd be getting one shot way too quickly. That is why you guys need to be really careful about how you do things. Yes, do skills, but also balance combat in there as well. Make sure you're getting at least a decent amount of combat skills. Especially now that the dead man mode is already, we're already in three days, and people are getting such great equipment right now that 
If you don't have the skills, people are just going to hit you off right off the bat. So, I hope this guide was helpful to a lot of you. Um, I know in one clan chat that I've been in, there's been a lot of people asking how do you rebuild after you die. And I hope that this kind of shows you what you have to do to rebuild. It's kind of a beginner's guide to show you exactly what you can do. But there's also a lot of other areas that you can do that I haven't talked about. You can do hunter, you can do slayer, you can do farming, you can do rune crafting. There's a lot of things in there that you can talk about that I, ha that I haven't really done. I don't know what kind of money you can make there, but if you explore it, you might find something you know much better than what I have explained here. So, I hope you guys have a good tournament. I know I'm having fun. This is honestly one of the most fun game modes that RuneScape has. So, thank you all for watching and have a good day.